welcome to the new Mini Warden Simple Programming Option. Yes, we have been listening to our customers, and now the Mini Warden has a, an option for a very simple programming. And also for those of you that really like the uh, precise control and flexibility available in our advanced programming, you have um, access to that also. So for, for this purpose, we're going to just talk about the uh, simple programming menu and what you can do with the Mini Warden. And of course, as you notice, the, the readings here are way off because we have no probes installed. First thing you'll notice is on the screen here, it used to be there was an, another flow here, which was uh, flow to input for digital flow meter. That has been completely removed from the simple programming option. And also you'll see actually the alarm lights on. I'll say here, uh, the light and also it says A right here, meaning alarm. Push the right arrow and that will give you the active alarm. If we go down into here, you can enter a password. You got the last seven days of data, which is just a daily reading for the last um, the last uh, seven days. And you'll see it has a, a date, time, and day. And since this thing has just been um, uh, recording data here for about an hour, this is this is all we have. But then you could you could actually scroll through it with the right or left arrows. Handy little feature just to quickly uh, see where you've been. We also have enter measurements, which that will. That will allow the uh, Langler index to be displayed, and we will we will come back to this in a little bit. But you can put in these these values manually, and then we have relay information, which is pH. This is timer uh, at the top here. Now, if that if that number was counting up that would mean that the uh, the pH relay is in its uh, mixed time if it's counting down that means that it's feeding and you should see it uh, pumping chemical on today is uh, how long that um, that relay has been on uh, since since midnight set over is actually where you where you're in the um, in the uh, overfeed cycle which is um, uh, calculated from the time that that the uh, sensors set, tell the controller that that uh, we're below or below or above our set points and we need to correct the situation and how long it actually will take and we do have options to to set the amount of time that you'll give it to correct itself before it locks out. This is good for, um, let's just say you had a, a leaking pump tube and you don't want to you know, dump uh, 15 gallons of chlorine in your pump room. This will help to prevent that. And, and then it's a total, a total on time of month would, for the month, which would be the uh, number of hours and minutes and count is just how many times it's been on. And I think that is, that's it there. Of course, then again, right here is the right arrow is which uh, active alarms are on if there, if there are any, indicated by this light or the, the little A on the screen. And up arrow gives us the basic information, tells us Mini Warden Simple, if it was in an advanced mode, it would say advanced there. Um, has the, the date and time, serial number, 
and then this is the uh, date of the software version. So these are all the basic things that you'll see up here. Now I told you we'd come back and check or do the uh, the Langler. If you really want to know, you know, really manage your water here, push push this. Now PPM is just a, a manual reading of what, what your chlorine is. So let's just say in this case that we got here and it was five pH let's say it was uh, 7.5 alkalinity is let's just say that was at uh, 100 hardness let's see let's say our hardness was um, uh, let's just say it's 320 And then cyanuric acid, even though this has nothing to do with this, the saturation index, you can keep a record of it here. So you can maybe uh, reference you know, on a monthly basis how much you're losing. But let's just say we have uh, 30 parts per million of cyanuric here. And then watch this when we go back. Okay. It says LSI minus 3.1 corrosive. That is because it's it's taking the real time pH reading in this case. So yes, this would this would be very corrosive. But again, this helps you to um, manage your water. You can you can adjust your pH set points a little bit if you want to help keep keep this more in balance. And we go back here this is in fact if we're in the main screen okay you push back this gives us um, all of our little functions here which is very easy um, but an ORP set point push enter you can put whatever set point you want in there from 600 to 900 pH of course we can Put, let's say, say we want to change it to 7.4. Enter. Calibrate. Okay, here we go. We can cal calibrate the ORP, although that's not really necessary unless you want to standardize uh, between a bunch of controllers on your route. Um, you can calibrate the pH, calibrate the temperature. This will monitor your temperature. And then you can you can also clear the calibrations to see where your where the sensor really is. But see if we got here the zero percent. If you have this calibrated, it'll show you how how much calibration is put on that probe. And so when this number, if it's getting up to say around eighty percent, you know that it's time to uh, get get a new uh, say um, ORP or pH probe because it's uh, it's kind of ending the getting close to the end of its life okay manual feed push enter okay these are defaults of two minutes of manual feed and what that means is that you've come in here let's say let's just say your pH was high because your acid container ran ran empty you can go refill it Push this one, turn it on. This will help to reprime your pump and get some acid in your pool. And when that countdown gets to zero, it goes back into normal operation. So you don't have to worry about uh, getting down the road and realizing, hey, I put, I left my um, my chemical feeders in manual mode, and I got, I got to go shut them off. No, the mini warden will actually do that for you. So. You don't have to worry about uh, remembering. And if we go up to alarms. This allows you to set your ORP and pH high and low um, alarm settings. Very, very easy to do. Again, just choose whatever number you want in here and push enter it 
data if you want to store data then you have to we have to have a data interval and that um, it's actually uh, it will default at one hour so if it says zero push enter and it'll come up to one hour um, you can clear the data it tells you how much is actually used and relay all this it says you see it says view only it will tell you then you go into options okay now this would, would get you um, your ORP spread now this is for your proportional control which you can go zero means no proportional control the pump will just be on continuously until it ha the set point has been um, met or exceeded but you can go 10 15 20 25 30 35 and 40 millivolt spread for that and pH zero would mean no no proportional control you can go to 0 0.2 0 0.3 or 0 0.4 I would just recommend 0.3 feed cycle 60 or 30 second 30 second I would say uh, to use primarily for swimming pools Uh, if you if you have a if you have a swimming pool that say has a very long run from the equipment to the pool, you may want to put that at 60 seconds. And this would primarily be used for spas. A pH you can choose acid or base. And you got your pH lockout, you can turn off or on. Now you have your your ORP and pH feed limits, which is the amount of time you're going to give it to correct itself. So you could go, actually, in this one, let's see. You can go one hour, two hour, three hour, four hour, or six, five or six hours. Okay, here's where you can enter in the time, date, day of the week, and then password. Now, it's really important to set your, your time and date and day, especially if you're, you're going to be recording data. Otherwise, you won't have any uh, really usable data in this case now these you know the options uh, menu here is is a lot like uh, the old dip switches in in the older controllers but this you don't you don't have to worry about remembering what switches you gotta set to to on or off the, this is a pretty straightforward way of having that programming And again, this is the uh, Mini Warden Simple Programming, and hope you've enjoyed it, and we'll uh, love to hear your input. Thanks.